The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading reminds us that sometimes God humbles us so that we will go back or will return to our senses. Pagkamisan kailangan mo mauntog para ikaw ay magising. Ang biruan nung kami ay high school, pag magandang maganda yung girlfriend, pangit yung lalaki. Ang palagi sinasabi sa lalaki, ibili mo ng malak, magandang helmet yan. Okay. Bakit naman? Kasi pag naumpog yan, matatauhan yan, pangit ka pala. Ano po? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, everything that happens has a reason. As I have said, what is happening around you is nothing compared to what is happening inside of you. Yung iba ang problema, pinamumukha na, wala pa rin nakikita. Bakit? Makapal na ang mukha. O kaya, makapal na ang kalyo. Alam naman natin yun. Pag ikaw ay hindi sanay maglakad ng yapak, ang bawat tapak mo sa batuhan, masakit. Pero kung palagi ka nang nagyayapak, barefooted, ang paglalakad mo ng yapak sa batuhan, wala na. Hindi mo na nararamdaman. Hindi dahil lumambot ang bato, kundi kumapal ang kalyo ng paa mo. We become kalus. Kumakapal, nawawala yung sabi nga, pakiramdam. Kadalasan, ganun ang ginagawa ng Diyos. Pag tayo matagumpay, tayo ay binigyan halimbawa ng kapangyarihan, naging masagana ang buhay, feeling natin, atin lahat yun. Kagagawan lahat, lahat natin yon At nakakalimutan natin ang Diyos na nagbigay nun. Ang malungkot na kwento, hindi mo lang nakalimutan ng Diyos. Pagkamisan, sinusumpa mo pa ang Diyos na pinagmumulan ng lahat ng iyong pagpapala. Akin ito. Ako naman ang may gawa nito. Kaya naman ako malusog. Kasi nag exercise ako. Ngayon, nandiyan ka, Nasa ICU ka, may COVID ka, at ikaw ay nakikiusap sa lahat ng iyong kaibigan, 
ipagdasal niya naman ako. Ipagdasal niya naman ako. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, alam naman nating maiksilang ang buhay. Yung ating pakikitungo sa ating kapwa, dyan tayo huhusgahan. Hindi yung paano nakitungo sa atin ang ating kapwa. Kaya nga, dalawang batas ang pinaalala sa atin ng Diyos. Kung di mo maalala sampung utos ng Diyos, dalawang batas lang. Ang alin, ang mahalin mo ang Diyos ng buong buo, buong buong pagkatao, ng iyong buong puso, ng iyong buong kaluluwa, ng iyong buong kalakasan. Ikalawa, mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa. My late spiritual director, Father Ben Carlos, would always remind me of this that you should never forget to do the most loving thing to do. The love for God and the love for neighbor. Sometimes the enemy of these two loves is the love of self. Yun ang kadalasan. Dahil minahal mo ang iyong sarili, hindi naman masamang mahalin ang sarili. Dapat minamahal mo ang iyong sarili. Kasi kung wala kang kakanyahang mahalin ang iyong sarili, wala kang kakanyahang mahalin ang ibang tao. Pero pagkaminsan, ang sobrang pagmamahal sa sarili, ay nakakalimutan mo ang dalawang dapat na pagmamahal. Ang pagmamahal sa iyong kapwa at ang pagmamahal sa Diyos na lumikha. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, Sometimes, sometimes, God will remove from us what is given to us that we may return to our senses who are the source of everything. Amen. This coming Sunday, we will be praying in a special way for all children. Children during this time of pandemic, especially in their online classes, is one of the most affected. Many of them get depressed. Many of them were, are unfaithful to the many things they're supposed to do as a student. Again, my dear parents, it is not helping them in their education that you are the one doing their modules. I repeat, my dear parents, you are not helping your children in their schooling, in their studies, by doing their modules. And you might not aware that that is cheating. That is cheating. Sabi nga ng isang school president, Sabi niya, last year, all school year last year, hindi kami nagbigay ng award father sa mga estudyante. Kasi ang, ang taas lahat ng grades. Ano po? Grabe ang pandemic, nakakataas ng grades. Ano? Sabi ng isang nanay, anong pangarap mo sa anak mo? Maging doktor, ikaw, maging engineer. Kaya ayusin natin ang pagsagot ng module na ito para sila ay maging doktor at engineer. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is important that we go back to our senses. Baka makalimot tayo, baka nakakalimot tayo, kaya minumula tayo ng Diyos. Hindi lahat ng maganda ay tama. Hindi lahat ng maganda ay tama. Pagkamisan, ibinabagsak ka, iniuumpog ka para matauhang ka. Do not wait for that moment when you are, you hit rock bottom and realizes you have wasted so much of the many gifts God has given you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.